is the 3rd of December now. Alright, so I have got a lot. I gotta get done for so about to get ready. I need to drop off my clothes at Plato's. First things first. And I'm gonna probably do multiple trips to Plato's, so. Because I just have so many bags. Like, y'all see all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is laundry I gotta do. Alright, y'all. We are officially ready for our day. Here's our outfit. We got leggings. They're from Pink. My tops from Walmart. And then my juicy bag from TJ Maxx. And my little sneakers, also Walmart. So yeah, this is a good running errands outfit. Um, so we gotta go drop off our clothes. All right, y'all. So we are headed to go try and sell. Ugh, my wrist thing is not staying on, which is annoying. I. My wrist starts hurting randomly on occasion, so I always, or I wear my little wrist brace when it starts hurting really bad, or a little bit just for like extra support during the day. But it's two o'clock, I woke up about one o'clock. I did not get enough sleep, I know for a fact. Um, I maybe went to bed around seven, and then I got woken up around 10, and then I went back to sleep and woke up about one. So if we assume we went straight to sleep after, I looked at the times twice, that's six hours of sleep maybe. But probably got between four and five. <laughs> because I just had a lot of my mind. Also, I that's kind of why I don't like drinking energy drinks. I drank an energy drink at work yesterday and I finished it before midnight because I try to get I want it but I also I think I have to drink it at the very beginning of my shift because if I don't I feel um it keeps me up longer because I feel like it doesn't start working until about an hour or so after you drink it anyways like energy drinks don't work immediately in my opinion it takes about an hour for it to like kick in so if I didn't finish drinking it until 12 then yeah it just kept me up <gasps> shoot too much 
much. I'm so used to it now, which sucks, but we're taking a break after Vlogmas, so if y'all are watching this after Vlogmas, we will be taking a much needed break, and I probably won't come back to y'all until about, I don't know how long. It might be a, it might be longer then, but we're taking at least a month off from posting vlogs and I also won't be posting on my second channel as much because I need a break from YouTube. It's a lot of time and energy that I had put towards making YouTube videos, but there's also goals in my everyday life that I'm going to have to work on. Um, and I'm still going to post, just not as frequently. So I literally will probably only post weekly vlogs from after going into the new year because I do not want to, um, well one, I do think I like overshare things and I talk about the same things kind of over and over again for that reason. Like not there, I mean, my daily life is like, you know, it's a vibe sometimes, but it's also just not super interesting all the time. So I'd rather just post like the most interesting things in for the week in one vlog versus have all of this, you know, background commentary that I share like right now. So yeah, moving forward. And that's something I have to practice because the problem is I'm so used to vlogging like this now that if I don't vlog, it feels weird. And that's also probably not healthy. Like I need to take a break from making videos, videos, or just make like more curated videos so that it's more planned and put together. Like I need to start planning my vlogs better too. So that is the update for y'all. And yeah, we're still doing vlogmas though, so. All right, we dropped off our clothes at Plato's. So yeah. Also, I didn't even drop off all my clothes. I only dropped off half of them. Ugh. Ooh, we're gonna put these in my trunk for now. All right, y'all. So I hope that I make at least 50 bucks from the three bags that I bring in. I only brought in three at a time because I'm not trying to overwhelm them with freaking six bags of clothes knowing they probably aren't gonna buy most of them. Um, and then I'll probably take the other three tomorrow. Um, there are some clothes in there that I'm like, uh, they probably are gonna pass on for sure, for sure that I can donate. And then, <sighs> you know, the crazy thing is like, I should prioritize selling my best items online. But I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I do not have the time or energy to sell clothes online. And then it's just like, it's it's honestly, I mean, it's more work. More work, more, probably could make more money doing it that way. But you also have to wait for someone to actually buy it. Wait for someone. And then you have to spend a lot of time and money shipping things also. So there's also like, there's a lot more work that goes into it. And I honestly wouldn't even be selling my clothes for that much either. So it's easier to just sell to Play-Dohs, give to my mom or give away most of the time is how I do it. I just take whatever I start out with to Play-Dohs Closet, make whatever money, get whatever money I can get from them and then donate the rest. And you know I'm not really in the business of reselling things and when I do resell things I never honestly I always sell them for like way cheaper than I purchased it regardless so 
I'm still not gonna be making, uh, I'm not expecting to get like $200 or something like that, which the clothes that I probably got rid of my closet, probably I spent about five to $600 on. Did I? I need to know so that when I donate, I can get my, you know, tax write-off or whatever. But typically it's not, I'm not spending that much money. So, or I'm not getting back that much money. So, it is what it is. That's just what I do. All right, we are going to get us um, some Tim Hortons because I'm currently on about to do another order. And I just love Tim Hortons. Cold I'm gonna try something different though. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hi, um, can I do a small vanilla cream cold brew? Alright, anything else? Um, can I add the cold film on top? Yes. Anything else? Um that's it. Alright, that's gonna be 435 in the window. Thank you. Welcome. All right, there's actually more people in this line than usual. All right, y'all, so far I've made 11 bucks. After this order, I'll have be at 30. So I only got to make, um, do maybe three more orders to make 50 bucks today which is my minimum i want to make on instacart so hopefully we can make that before five o'clock um hopefully after this order though my clothes are ready at play-dohs um so that i can go ahead and pick them up because they close at six so i want to be done doing instacart and picking up my clothes by six o'clock so that's three more hours that I have so I should be finished with this next order I'm about to do by like four so we're on a great schedule today and I feel great um this morning was a little bit rough not gonna lie because I was just nervous I wasn't gonna get a lot of sleep but I'm just gonna take a nap once I get home and I'll probably I am gonna decorate my um room for Christmas today so that tomorrow which is my full complete off day I can film my vlogmas intro and get caught up on my vlogmas vlogs um so I'm excited for that and yeah after I take my nap I probably will be super productive for the rest of tonight and that makes me happy so yeah we're hitting all our goals, staying motivated. My minimum I try to make on Instacart, y'all, is $100. So as long as I make at least $100 each week on Instacart, I'm happy. And yeah. Um, I haven't really been pushing myself to do more than 100 a week because it's a little bit harder with my overnight schedule. Um the first week i was working i was doing instacart and then going to work overnight which it's doable like i could do um try to do instacart every day if i really had to i just am not trying to do that to be quite honest with y'all like my overnights make me so tired honestly so i end up usually just not even wanting to leave my house after I work overnights which was me on um, Saturday like after working my Friday night overnight y'all I had all these things I wanted to do the next day and I was like mm, never mind <laughs> oh the other thing is too I have really not had to do a lot of grocery shopping the past couple of weeks either so 
and I'm not eating I don't eat as much I eat all my snacks at work and they have lunch like they give us pizza and stuff on Fridays and Saturdays during December hello yes Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You too. Noise. Um, I can't remember what I was in the middle of saying. Basically, um, I don't, I haven't really had to go grocery shopping. Um, there's, um, because I'm not hungry most of the time when I wake up, I pretty much just eat one big meal a day and then snacks, <laughs> which I don't know if that's really healthy or working for me. Um, but yeah, in the mornings, I pretty much only drink coffee to wake me up. And that's my breakfast. Yesterday, I did make like a breakfast burrito. I didn't vlog though because I was on the phone with my sister. But we just got our small one. Last time I got the medium and it was like too much. Too much for me. And I ended up not being able to like, I, it took me like all day to finish my one drink. So I actually think I'm just going to stick to smalls because it's enough caffeine to get me through the next three to four hours. Mm. This one doesn't didn't taste as good as it normally does. Maybe it's the mint because uh, I'm chewing gum. All right, uh, it's actually been pretty steady today as far as getting having orders immediately after I complete one so I guess a lot of people are shopping so I'm about to do my third order of the day I'm probably only gonna do four orders because after this one I'll be at I think $43 and like I said I'm only doing um, working Instacart until I make $50 <sighs> because I don't want to be working like all day on my off days from my job and there's also other things I want to get done. So right now I'm doing good. January, February here, which is 
the only annoying thing about living in the south during the holidays is it don't really you don't get the snow you don't really feel as it doesn't feel as much like um christmas or winter during the season and then i'm actually going to be on a cruise in the bahamas for actual christmas which i think the last family cruise family i'm meeting with like my mom was back in And that was only for like half my bags and even the girl was like if you have more stuff please bring it in like we they need items right now and i was like girl i'll be back tomorrow i have more stuff so i'm very happy with that and yeah that actually just made my day because i feel like my day is going exactly how i wanted it to do so I should be home by 6 o'clock, it's 5.30, and just in time to take a nap. Basically, my entire day has gone exactly how I wanted it to. For once, for once, I made my $50 on Instacart, I got over $50 back from Play-Dohs, that's $100 today. Yippee hooray, <laughs> yippee hooray. You know, so that's a hundred more dollars for my savings, which makes me very, very, very happy. Okay, so the one thing I, or I have to go to five and below because I have to get a new charger again, y'all. I literally just bought um, a charger. Basically, I like the 10 foot chargers and I get the fast charge cables. So I pretty much broke mine yesterday, so I've been having to use my car charger, which is only three feet long, which is not long enough for me. So Five and Below sells the 10 foot ones for like six bucks. So that's the cheapest place that I know of to get a charger. And then I'm also gonna stop by TJ Maxx because there's um, some items on hold I wanna get. And I will be explaining because I'm filming like a haul video, which will be my official last like big haul for the year and for a long time. So I'm excited to show y'all what I got. And then um, we are going home actually after I do those two things. So yeah. Alright, it's actually kind of busy outside today, also, and here we are. I'm going to walk to Five Below and get my charger first, because that's the only item I'm getting. Man, I hope Ulta gets um, put together too. Once it opens, I might try to get a job there, because I want to start doing makeup again. Yay! Okay. Alright, this is all I'm getting. I'm not even gonna look around because this is all I need. Alright y'all, I am headed home finally for the night. We are not gonna leave our house again till tomorrow. It's 5.57. So, I saw one of my favorite co-workers and she checked me out. Her name's Victoria. She's literally so cute and so sweet. Um, she's one of the people who works overnights. Um, started working overnights with me and the other people I started with. Um, so yeah, we got a lot done today. 
I feel good. We made, technically, I made $160 today because I got, wait, no, I overround it up. $130 today because 58 plus 72 is $130. So that's a great day for me. And majority of it was from clothes. Hopefully we get another $50 tomorrow with the other three things. And there's one more bag of clothes I'm gonna go through. And there's stuff I need to get rid of in that. Um, so I'm just gonna bring the um, those back tomorrow. And tomorrow morning probably, and then pick it up like at night once I do my um, Christmas intro or whatever. And then we're probably just gonna chill to most of tomorrow too. I'm not gonna do Instacart tomorrow, I don't think. I might change my mind if it gets, if depending on how I'm feeling, but I really need like a, a full day off from everything. So I try to make that Sundays or I want that to be Sundays eventually, but right now Sunday or Sundays are the only um, like nights I have off. Sundays and Mondays are my only days technically off um, when I do overnight. So that's going to be this. It's going to be the same thing next week because I work Tuesday through Saturday overnights. So it is what it is. But I'm just really, really grateful to have gotten. Um, made what I did today so hit all my goals did everything I planned to do and that makes me feel great and the only thing I have to do today which is fun stuff which is decorate for Christmas well the only other productive thing I'm gonna clean up I need to clean um, clean up I'm gonna organize and clean first and then take a nap and then decorate for Christmas and I'll probably be up late because I need to start editing. I want to get my vlogs edited for Vlogmas or start getting them prepared to be edited. Um, and I'll probably post two Vlogmases on Monday and Tuesday to catch up because it'll be four days basically that I'm, or three days behind is what I am right now since it's the third. But. <clears throat> Vlogmas 1 and 2 will be up tomorrow once I edit my, or do my intro and edit my intro. So that is my plan for the rest of my night. And yeah, I feel great. thousand years later all right y'all <laughs> i tried to take a nap and failed so we're just gonna start decorating for christmas um excuse me first and foremost i need to find all of my christmas decorations because they're somewhere in my dad's or my dad has like Technically, my dad's house is three bedrooms, but he kind of has a fourth one that he uses as an office, but can also be a bedroom. So, this backstory room that I'm about to show y'all is kind of like, it's not really my hoarder's den, but it is like a storage for me of a lot of stuff. For right now, we're not worrying about this. This is like the rest of the clothes that I need to go through to donate, which I'm gonna do tomorrow morning at some point. Um, so for right now, I actually have two empty bins that I have right here. See, I need a prop, y'all. I am not someone who can um, just 
I can't, I don't like holding my camera all the time. Um, but yeah. So, my Christmas decor is in a storage bin in this room somewhere. So, I have my Christmas trees here. So, we're going to set this over here. And then... I should have a bin that has Christmas decorations in here somewhere. Ooh. A big problem for me is not knowing where things are. So let me find everything and I'll come back to you guys. All right, y'all. So the only Christmas decor I see mostly are the pillows and stuff in this bin. So I'm thinking... A lot of my decor is in the garage and I definitely am scared to go through those all right y'all so I am going to actually eat some food because I'm hungry I have not eaten all day it's also 11 p.m. for those of you who care to know what time I do stuff at. So since I'm still kind of on a night, or I should say my night schedule from my job, I honestly start doing things, have been doing things much, much later in the day than I'm used to, which is um, kind of frustrating. Um, but anyways, I have some leftover marry me chicken. So I just have some pasta. And then this is the sauce. I actually think I'm going to mix some more chicken broth in it to thin it out. Because the sauce should be a little thick. And then look, we have this Hello Kitty Christmas Prey. So Vlogmas. But you're going to use this because it's Vlogmas season, which means Christmas season, which means Christmas themed everything as possible. Um, and we're actually about to start decorating for Christmas or decorating my room. I just legitimately <sighs> have been doing so much today. Um, and one of the things I really wanted to get done tonight, though, was have my room decorated, um, put up my Christmas decorations, or at least most of them. So I think for right now, I'm going to put up about just the stuff that's inside. There's, I think I have Christmas decor in my dad's garage. Oh, there's already a scratch on the paint on this. I don't know if it was like that when I bought it, but I just noticed a chip in the paint. I'm hoping I didn't um, just do that by washing it, but yeah. But this plate's so cute. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying. So, I have, I got all the Christmas de decor I could find in like my back room out. So that's what we're going to try to put up tonight. And I was going to try to look in my garage, but honestly, it's 11 at night. I don't want to be in the garage when there's like bugs and everything's in there. In there. So we're probably going to go through the rest or look for the rest of my decorations. Because I know I have like some um, portraits and stuff that I have bought. Um, during like Walmart's Christmas clearance a few years back. So I know I have more decor that I haven't used. So, sure, that is our plan. And honestly, this is a lot of food. I have more sauce, I think. Than chicken, but I want to eat like a full chicken breast. 
Also, did I mention I haven't eaten all day? Other than some coffee I got from Tim Hortons. Kind of doing like um, some fasting, but it's not like super hardcore fast. All right. This looks weird for people who probably don't know. I just imported the chicken broth to make it a little bit soupier so that when I warm it up, my um, sauce thins out a bit. And we're just gonna do that on for 30 minutes. I'm actually, I tried to take a nap too and I couldn't sleep. So, because I'm used to going to bed at five in the morning, but I want to be in bed by like 2 a.m. if possible tonight so I don't sleep past noon. So I'd rather get my decorations up in like the next hour. And then we're going straight to bed. What the heck? Oh, that's so I need to eat the rest of my chicken salad too. There's a lot of food I need to eat, so we're at home, so I don't want to keep, uh, go out or eat out a lot. Um, but also I haven't been grocery shopping in a minute as well, so there's really not much for me to, like, eat except for, like, unless I cook, essentially. So that's what we're trying to do also. tonight this is the decor we have not saying this is the permanent oh my gosh is that a bug i'm oh, sorry guys this is not the permanent but i did move this christmas tree to the floor because the stuff that's on it the white stuff was shutting into like my beauty headbands and i did not want that so um I think I will replace this green bin with something cuter, maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we have our stocking up there, the tree. I replaced the plant that was on top of here with another mini Christmas tree. My December calendar is already kind of Christmassy. Um, have this little sign from Dollar Tree. <coughs> My pink stocking. This I already had set up. The This tin can isn't super Christmassy, but it's whatever. Um, it's on a Christmassy riser. I might just get rid of the pumpkins can and put the flowers on top so that it looks less off, I suppose. Um, my Christmas tree, we're going to decorate it tomorrow. And then I ended up taking more pillows off my chair, so it's a lot more chill right now. So we just have our little Target pillows plus this juicy blanket. Um, I added the Stay Cozy sign over here and a little green wreath. And then this little um, Christmas thing I got from Walmart clearance last year. Um, this is another Christmas decor thing I had. And there's still more stuff in my garage I'm going to put up. Um, and I need to decorate my bathroom. Oh, and this little pink one. So that's in my bed. My bed, I just put out my Christmas blankets and pillows pretty much. So it looks probably the most Christmassy right now. But that's pretty much it for today. It's a good start. It's not what we want. And then like the lights in my bath are pretty Christmassy already too. So we're probably not going to change any of that. So I'm going to replace a few more signs, though. I'm going to hang a sign over here. Um, replace this sparkle on one with one of my Christmas ones. Y'all will see when I 
just finished tomorrow. There's a lot of stuff I put off to finish tomorrow, so tomorrow's probably going to be a busy day, but at least I don't have to be up till 5 a.m., um, so that's good.